Hello, it's Mrs. Poe. Today we are reading Alvin Ho, Allergic to Girls, School, and Other Scary Things. This story is written by Lenore Look. Chapter 1, Once Upon a Time. The first thing you should know about me is my name is Alvin Ho. I'm afraid of many things. I'm afraid of elevators. I'm afraid of tunnels. I'm afraid of bridges. I'm afraid of airplanes, thunder, substitute teachers. I'm afraid of kimchi. I'm afraid of wasabi. And I'm afraid of the dark, heights, scary movies, scary dreams. I'm afraid of shots. And I'm afraid of school. If there were no school, my troubles would blast away just like that. I would dig holes all day. I could play catch with my gun gun. I would watch cooking shows. I would keep an eye on things. It would be fantastic. The second thing you should know about me is that even though I am afraid of many things, I'm not afraid of anything that explodes. I love explosions. I was practically born with gunpowder in my blood. That is on account of I live in Concord, Massachusetts. Um, which is hard to spell, but there are a lot of exploding things all over the place when the American Revolutionary War happened. The third thing is that you should know is that I have a dog named Lucy and a brother named Calvin and a sister named Annabelle who messes with my sticks and my toys and eats my food and drinks my chocolate milk and gets in my way. I'm not as big as Calvin, but I'm bigger than Annabelle, who isn't a baby anymore, but doesn't go to school yet. I'm sort of nearly almost medium. When I stand on my tiptoe and stretch at the same time, I am finally almost visible in my class picture. The fourth thing you should know about me is that I love Plastic Man, Wonder Woman, the Green Lantern, the Concrete Man, and Aquaman. I also love King Henry V and all the superheroes in the world. I know them from reading in my dad, reading to my dad every night while my mom runs on the treadmill like a hamster on a wheel. My dad is a great reader for his age, which could be about 50 or 100. It's hard to tell. He even wears reading glasses and always puts one arm around me and his other arm around Annabelle and Calvin uh, for support on account of when you get to be that old, it's hard to do anything yourself. The fifth thing that you should know about me is that once upon a time, before I went to school, I was a superhero. I was a firecracker man. I ran around our house full speed, screaming at the top of my lungs, which, while beating on a garbage lid, I was noisy as a firecracker on Chinese New Year. My costume was great. My gung gung made it. But now that I am, I am firecracker man only on the weekends and holidays, there's just no time for it. Being a superhero is hard work. You have to save the world but going to school is even harder. You have to save yourself. Most days I can hardly make it to the school bus. And when I arrive at school, I can't think, I can't read, I can't smile, I can't sing, I can't scream, I can't even talk. The sixth thing that you should know about me is that I've never spoken a word at school. Even when I try with all my might, I always manage to say nothing at all. My voice works at home. It works in the car. It works on the school bus. But as soon as I get to the school, I'm silent as a side of beef. You're like a piece of frozen sausage falling off the truck, my brother Calvin says. It is true. I'm something like that. No one really knows why I lose my voice at school. Since I come from a long line of uh, uh, farmer warriors who hadn't had a scaredy bone in their bodies since 714 AD. In China, my ancient grandpa and grandmas and aunts and uncles 
thought of leopards and tigers in their garden, the way Calvin and Annabelle and I fight off mosquitoes in Walden Pond. They weren't afraid of anything, and I am afraid of everything. Chapter two, getting gulp ready for school. It was the last day of summer vacation, and Calvin and I were in our room, ready for the first day of school. He was going into the fourth grade, and I was heading into the second. Calvin was on the computer, and I was sitting in my bed going over my PDK. PDK stands for Personal Disaster Kit. When you're afraid of everything, it's very important to carry a PDK. It's like a PFD, a personal flotation device, only heavier with more parts. A PDK begins with the right box. It must not be too big. It's like a shoe box, but that's kind of small. Like a Band-Aid tin, a handle on it, but lock it up on account of it will keep you out when you need it. I use a waterproof fly box with compartments, which is just perfect. You can put anything in a PDK, but mostly it should be things that you use in a disaster, such as a whistle. If I lose my voice, a whistle is very handy. A three-leaf clover, because it couldn't find, I couldn't find a four-leaf one. How about garlic? For fending off vampires and teachers. <laughs> Dental floss? Handy for trapping and wrapping and tying and hanging things out of Annabelle's reach. A band-aid. A magnifying glass for general curiosity, but you could also use it to start a fire. A mirror for sending signals in case you can't start a fire. A bandana for preventing smoke inhalation in case one of the above happens, you know, the fire part. But you can also be used as a slingshot or a tourniquet. How about a scary mask for keeping girls away? And escape routes. The problem with PDKs and everybody knows is that they need to be updated every year on account of you never know what you're gonna need for the next grade. Now that I could read and write without help, I was adding something. It needed for a long time, emergency plans. I could read them out loud to Calvin. And here's the emergency plans. When I finished reading my emergency plans, I was very important, impressed with my plans, but Calvin was not. That's silly, he said. Calvin is not supposed to use those words. Silly. You can't say that, I said. Okay, it's dumb, said Calvin. You're supposed to look your teacher in the eye and shake your hand and smile, and that's harder than putting on a scary mask. I am not too good at anything ever, I said and I started off for school. But Calvin, he's good at everything. He knows his multiplication tables, mostly. He has a fantastic ideas about science projects. Most days, he can finish his homework without falling asleep. And someday, he'll know something about everything because he is reading an entire encyclopedia online. Calvin, I said, you're going to be the smartest person in the world. That's the whole idea, said Calvin, still reading. He needs to read pretty fast to give himself a jump start on the fourth grade, which is when you have to speed read to get yourself ready for middle school. He was up to the letter D. Do you know that deer sleep only five minutes a day, Calvin said? No, I said, Calvin, Calvin ignored me and continued reading. The elephant is on the only mammal that can jump, he said. Calvin was right. I've seen an elephant fly in the movie, but I've never seen one jump. 
I need your help to finish my PDK, I said. I've already helped you, Calvin sighed. He didn't look up. I need more help. I need emergency plans for making friends. None of the boys at school play with me. That's because you're weird, said Calvin. I'm not weird, I said. I have so-so, you know, performance anxiety disorder. It is true. I see a therapist for it. That's weird, said Calvin, and he skipped ahead to S. You're weird, I said. Did you know that Arthur William Shakespeare that author William Shakespeare invented more than 1,700 words, including assassination and bump? I shook my head. <laughs> Stewardess is a long word that you can type with only the left hand, said Calvin. I growled. Calvin stopped. Okay, he said. The first step in making friends is don't talk so much. You need to be quiet. That is the first rule of being a good friend. Oh, I blinked. But I can't talk in school, I cried. That's the problem. Calvin glared at me. Maybe if you didn't use up all your words at home, you'd have some to use at school, he said. I glared back. Back. Okay, he said. If I tell you, will you stop bothering me? Okay, I agreed. Ready, Calvin? You better write a write fast. So I did. I read it twice, and then I read it again. It wasn't perfect, but I put it into my PDK, and I stopped bothering Calvin.